What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Toke Master, yet again, coming to you live from Ring Eye Studio, the outdoor version. And uh, today I come to you, because I told you in my last video, that I was gonna do another video this week, uh, and I'm doing it on the Umber Guard. Well, I'm smoking the Umber Guard. I'm not doing one on this, but I'm smoking it. I had heard a lot about it. I've been seeing it all over the place. And I decided, you know, like I said in the last video, I got it from a particular website, had some points to use. So I got it for about about seven bucks cheaper than it cost on the site due to how many cigars I buy from these people. But let me just see what's going on. Get this bad boy lit up and talk about how nice it is out here today. Oh yeah, real earthy, I can tell you that now. Don't worry about this. That ain't nothing, that's just a little, just a little something slight. It's probably gonna go good with this. All right, so what y'all up to today? It's a good old Wednesday. I'm still working from home, which gives me the ability to do things like this. You know, it's still a bit of a transition for me. Yeah, it's still a bit of a transition for me with, uh, you know, coming from working in the field. But I'm enjoying it. It's cool. I like it. Ooh, that's got a little punch to it. Mm. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right, so. It's my midday. Thought I'd just pop out, do this video while it's nice outside. It's like 75 right now in DC. In April, we got about another week, week and a half before the cicadas started to come out. I don't know if y'all remember them 17 years ago, but they say it's going to be a thousand times worse this time. I remember it because my son was born that year. And uh, yeah, they say they come out every 17 years. And I've been looking online at the potential of how it's going to be. They said it's going to be in the millions, billions, something like that, man. Cicadas. You ain't gonna want to go outside. You ain't gonna want to open the window in your car. Nothing. Not a dog on thing. But NIH, National Institute of Health. I remember last the last time the cicadas came out, they said that if you found a cicada with blue eyes, it was worth like 500 bucks. So 17 years ago, I was in my early 20s. I was 21 to be exact. So, you know, we was on the hunt, me and all the fellas, we was on the hunt for them joints, man. <laughs> this is ugly, though, man. They get that, <laughs> making all that goddamn noise. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. But, so, um, uh, what else been going on? Oh, still getting ready for Vegas. That's, uh, what's today? The 6th, 7th? That's 11 days away. Before we go, mm. and I don't know if y'all saw the video, but I ain't never been on an airplane, so this should be nice. It's also Cigar Week in Vegas, that same week that I'm going, so you already know what time that's going to be. I got to make sure I bring the good stuff out, bring my good clothes, my good shoes, you know what I'm saying? Get my chill on, man. For real. Get fried probably every single day. <sighs> my first for real ever vacation where I'm actually going somewhere. So I live in the D.C. area. And we have um, we have Ocean City, which is in the, uh, the, sh the eastern shore side of Maryland. We have Delaware, which is Delaware. Delaware beaches. Um, we have Virginia Beach. 
And then we also have this, it would be the equivalent of your favorite hole in the wall bar called Sandy Point, which is where a lot of families go. They cook out, it's right on, like, like the beach part of it is made of like sand and rocks. But we've been going there since we was kids, man, and we love it. And we still go there, you know, occasionally, you know, here lately in life. You know what I'm saying? But, so yeah, I've gone to places like that. You know, I've gone to like Philly, New Jersey, New York, uh, the Carolinas, and stuff like that. But I've never really gone anywhere. The farthest I've ever traveled is to Atlanta, Georgia. But I was 17 at the time. I was on a college tour. Went to go see Morehouse and a couple of other schools down there. So had chaperones and whatnot. And I really couldn't quite do what I wanted to do while I was down there. I mean, at 17, I didn't know what to do while I was down there, you know. I didn't know about hanging out in the street, nothing like that. I wasn't at home. So, you know, of course, I was with mentors and whatnot who tried to negate a lot of the stuff that we wanted to do. I mean, they let us go to the mall little stupid stuff like that but it was cool but that was the farthest i ever been for real my family we used to go to uh myrtle beach every year back in the day but you know, things change life change things happen we haven't done that in probably over 20 years matter of fact no when my son was an infant or maybe like one uh my mom took him to Myrtle Beach. I didn't go that year. You know, I had to pay for myself in that time. I couldn't afford it. I was out running around looking for damn cicadas. <laughs> looking, running around looking for blue eyed cicadas and shit. <laughs> yeah, man. But yeah, so got a lot of stuff planned for when we go out to Vegas. Um, was going to take a bus tour to California. Going to go to the marathon store but apparently it's closed um a lot of restaurants out there um a lot of little adventures you can go on grand canyon out there you know we can go see that um what else you know gambling you know smoking cigars having fun just you know enjoying it then the first will be my first time traveling period so I know I'm gonna have a good time. I'm not trying to be chilling unless I got a hangover that I can't sustain or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? It's nice to go. Not too, it's a nice midday. Not too bad. It's pretty good. Sit this down for a second, take a swig. But yeah, so other than that, for my birthday, which is in June, the plan is to go to Mexico. You know, but we still kind of worried about, you know, how Corona going to be stuff like that and I'm not particularly interested in getting the vaccine uh, you know but you know shout out to everybody that did shout out to everybody that don't want to I mean it's whatever your choice you know what's best for you and I get it for everybody that did go get it I get it but if they start putting restrictions on it meaning you know you got you can't go if you're not vaccinated that's gonna really set me back maybe some other people too but you know, we'll just have to see. Maybe you have to get a test to prove that you're negative before you, I think you, I think as of right now, you have to get a test within three days of you leaving to go, stating that you do not have the virus. And, uh, you know, that'll be one, that'll be, you know, your, your, your clearance to be able to fly. So I plan to do that um, next week, Thursday, I believe. I can get a rapid test done at the local pharmacy of the street. So I've already scheduled that. Um, that's that, that's for traveling anywhere right now. So I got it. I scheduled it for next week to go to Mexico when I go to Vegas. 
And uh, I don't think Vegas has a... Uh, where you have to be tested before you leave or anything like that. I don't think that they are doing that right now. I don't think they are. That's something I gotta look into. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's going just right before hope, just right. But uh, let me jump on here, get a little bit of work done, and I will pop back in when it's halfway. See how I still feel about it. Catch y'all in a minute. All right, y'all. Welcome back. About to have the halfway point on this stick here. And it is. Very much so a good stick. If I was sipping something, it would probably be a beer like this, a Stella. Or um, if I was going whiskey, I would go Blanton's, uh, maybe John Bowman, single barrel. Um, mm, that's probably the two that I would go with. Uh, Woodford, double oaked, or the regular. You know, I actually have some um, mini bottles of uh, Whistle Pig, and uh, I've never had it. I know that it's a pretty pricey bottle, um, but I'm glad I got the mini shooters is what I call them, so that I can try it and see if maybe one day I'll give myself a bottle. <clears throat> Haven't cracked them yet. I think I got two. Yeah, it's about two of them. Excuse me. But, oh, I did go online and check. Vegas has no restrictions right now. But they, they advised the, uh, uh, I forget what website I went to. It was a Vegas website, but they said uh, to just monitor the uh, the news and whatnot to make sure nothing changes between now and when I decide to travel. It's one little bumblebee keep hanging around me. What's up, man? You want to get on camera? Oh, you scared? You real flowery. <laughs> uh, as long as it ain't no damn wasp or cicada, it's nothing, I'm good. If it was a cicada, I'd have hopped up. You'd have seen me run through that door, wouldn't even unlock it or nothing. It'd just be a body print in that joint, like in the old cartoons. <laughs> ah, man. But, you know, it's a lovely Wednesday here in D.C. Um, not too much going on. I'll probably go in the office tomorrow. Just to get out the house. It's going to be nice again tomorrow. It's going to be, today is like 73, 74. Tomorrow's going to be like 68. So it's going to be just a little bit cooler. And I'm okay with that. You know, be a little cooler for my travel. And so, uh, you know. What else I got coming up? Oh, on the <clears throat> music side. I've um, been listening to some beats here lately, and I'm gonna get back in the in the swing of things. The last song I wrote was Maduro Madness, and then I kind of lost my my drive and stuff like that to do music. You know, just life got in the way. I got a little busy, you know. But I'm gonna get back into it because I've just been having the itch. I haven't sat down and wrote anything yet, but I'm going to do that here shortly in the next couple of days or so. Um, I did speak with uh, one of my Facebook friends who's a big fan of the Maduro Madness song and uh, she wants me to write. She's starting her own podcast and it's going to be about um, cigars and the daily buzz is what she called it. And so she wanted me to do the intro song, but to a two-step kind of beat. And I was like, that's a cool idea. I was like, you know, you find the beat and you get it to me and I'll see what I can do with it. You know, I'll ask you some questions so I can make it personal to you and your show. And, you know, we go from there. So I sent her a couple of links to some websites that got instrumentals. I've never personally looked for a two-step style beat 
Two Step Style beat is sort of like um, Step in the Name of Love by R. Kelly. So, uh, you know, something like that. And I could get with a little, you know, a little jam like that. You know, something a little cool, something a little laid back and mellow. So uh, hopefully she picks something like that. But whatever she picks, I'm going to do my best. That's all I can do. And that's what kind of, this was last night, as a matter of fact. That's what actually sparked me, like, really back into getting into the music again. And so, got some things in the works. I got some ideas for some stuff I want to do. I'm going to finish that project that I started with Maduro Madness. Um, I've got to get the video shot for that as well. I have two separate places that I can do it at. Um, Petworth Cigars and Cigar 210. Um, both of them are some really good guys that uh, run, the, run the show over there. So <clears throat> I'm probably going to probably shoot it in a mix of them both to have a wider range of variety in the video. And I also got to formulate a schedule because I have certain people that I really want to be in it. You know, a lot of my um, cigar buddies and stuff like that, people I, you know, I grew up with, you know, some people don't even smoke cigars, but because they're my people, I want them in the video. So it's starting to warm up, you know, the brain's starting to percolate a little more with ideas because the COVID restrictions are loosening up and, you know, we're able to, you know, get out and have more people. There's also one other place I can shoot it that I just thought of. Um, it's an outdoor spot, which would be cool. Um, I got to get in contact with uh, my buddy about that. I just thought, I never thought about shooting it over there. Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I just got sidetracked thinking about something. See, like I said, you know, it's starting to get warm. The mind starts to percolate a little bit more. And, you know, things is pretty sweet. So, if you've never had an umbagog, umbagog, I'm sorry, umbagog, if you've never had one, I highly suggest you, you get one. I think they run up to 10, maybe 10 bucks is the most that you'll pay for one. At least here in DC, I've never bought a single, so I'm not 100% sure, but I know the, the five pack had a price online. And if you, you know, divvy it up individually, they range out to about seven, maybe eight bucks a stick. So that works out. Try it if you can find it. It's just worth the stick. It's, a, it's not too strong, it's not, you know, heavy on you. Lots of earth, it's more grounded as far as uh, like spice, pepper, um, leather, earth, um, get like a dark chocolate kind of twang to it. It's pretty nice if you ask me. But I've been in the mood to make these videos here lately. So, you know, y'all just work with me. I know I do a lot of pausing and ums and yes and all that, but I'm just trying to get my feet under me and get comfortable. You know, uh, when I was heavy into music, I used to do interviews all the time. And when you're talking to someone else, it's a little bit easier. But when you're just talking to a screen, it's a little different. But I like it. It doesn't bother me at all. I'm an only child, so, um, you know, well, I have brothers and sisters, but they're through, you know, marriages and, you know, my father's and mother's relationships and whatnot. But, yeah. So, probably do another video later where I actually have something to sip on. I probably won't sip on something at least. That beer is enough for today. Well, for right now at least, you know. <laughs> but when the sun go down a little bit, you know, I'll uh, probably have, have a change of heart, but like they say. <laughs> but, you know, all things happen. Everything happens for a reason. Just embrace the madness and enjoy the ride. You only get one good spin. So, y'all take care of yourselves. And be easy. And I will catch y'all on the next one. Gone.